Hello, Mr. Randy Duck, and welcome back for another video. This time I've got two replays for you in a tier 8 French premium heavy tank, the Sumba SM. It is a five shot auto loader, uh, 300 uh, alpha, so you've got the um, 1500 clip potential. It actually has, um, you know, when you're in the top tier lobby, which this is, you do have some pretty decent armor. Um, you can, you know, you can expect to bounce a few shots in the tank. And yeah, I, it's a tank which weirdly I hadn't played that much. I had the tank for a while and I thought, let's just try it out. You know, it's been in the game for a long time, but I've never really got around to playing it. And recently I have played a few games in it and I must admit, I do actually really like the tank. You obviously got the tech tree version, which is a lot quicker, which has um, no armor whatsoever, where this sort of trades up that flexibility of the movability uh, and gives you a little bit of armor. And when you are in a top tier matchmaking, like I say, you can be quite aggressive with it. You can expect to bounce a few shots. You're not always going to bounce them, but you know you are going to bounce. You will be bouncing a few shots. So here on Casserine Encounter, I'm going to be playing quite aggressive at the start. Um, obviously, I know the fact that there's only one fun place in the game, and it is a top tier game. So I do want to try and push the pace on this, especially on a counter, because you never know on this account. You know, the amount of times I've had a quick. Um, cap and it really kind of uh, ruins the game so you want to make sure you get some damage in I've traded one for one for the ISM which is not ideal but now he's pushed around the corner I am going to close the distance so I can try and dump my clip into ISM because as a tier 8 game it is quite a dangerous tank and I would like to try and get rid of it as quickly as I can even if it costs me some hit points um, so that is my plan at the moment I'm trying to push it in take out this ISM it's risky because there is some tanks on my right hand side I'm expecting to lose a few hit points here unfortunately but I'm trying to just get rid of the tank we put them on a one shot and unfortunately low roll putting them on free health and then we end up eating the shot off the ISM because of the low roll uh, and then we eat another one uh, off that vengeance I believe when we uh, try to escape so we've had a good start in the terms of we've got 1500 damage uh, but unfortunately uh, it has left us now on only 500 hit points which is far from ideal but we have at least taken a decent position trying to encourage my team to uh, follow in uh, so that if we can win this side then we're just going to be able to collapse on the enemy team take the map control away from them and you know, hopefully get a good game out of it so we've got this uh, banana pans up he's side on to us so we're just trying to get a few damage in he, come, you know, he comes back in and gives us, a, gives us a shot which is nice uh, we try and get a shot into this, um, you know, the medium tank, poacher medium tank in front of us. So check medium tank, and we do manage to pick up 2,600 damage. So it is a tank where, hey, in the blink of an eye, you know, when you get to dump that clip, it has got a long reload, but it has that because you've got that, uh, the gift of, the, you know, that 1,500 clip potential. Um, as I'm reloading here, I'm just looking to see if we've got any shots, or just check the hit points, see if we can... Uh, find our next victim, uh, you know, who we want to try and put our, our shots into um, and just have a quick look at the map. Because like I say, once we've won this side on the, on, on the right hand side, we'll be able to collapse in on the enemy teams pushing our cap um, and try and get them, you know, while they're distracted fighting our team. Um, and then it's, you know, it should hopefully be, you know, happy sailing from there. Uh, we're looking to see if we can get a shot. This SU, I am a one shot to the SU, but it's just shot. So that's my chance to try and get into cover. Uh, we get one shot in. Obviously, if the SU pokes, we're going to be able to finish them off. But unfortunately, this Persian's now got shots onto us. So we've got to be a bit careful with that. If we go straight through his, uh, the side of his turret wall. Unfortunately, then we aim for the gun man, which is silly. Uh, but we spot the SU poking to try and get a shot. And we manage to finish him off. I'm just looking to try and dump my clip now. I went for the Capola, chanced it. And now we're going to get back into cover. Now we picked up just over 3,000 damage. It is still a fairly close game, but we are starting to win the key areas of the map. Um, now that Persian is, is been taken care of, this is what I mean, this is what I was talking about earlier. We can now try and collapse in these heavy tanks fighting in the middle uh, and try and come behind them while they're distracted. Uh, I've got to be careful with these T54E2 because, like I say, I'm, I'm a you know, I'm a, only a 5 inch hit points, it could clip me out while I was crossing, so I have got to be careful. Um, I'm hoping this tank gets taken out because even though it's low on health, you know, it's only got 92 hit points, it's still a, a gun in the game. Uh, but I don't want to keep wasting any more shots. I went for the Capola shot, 
didn't get it, but it has now backed off. It's probably on, you know, they're probably on reload, so that's no chance to try and close the distance on this um, for enemy team. Uh, see if we can try and you know get some into this Italian tank. See what we can do. Um, you know, if we get one more clip in, we're going to put ourselves over 4K, and that's going to be you know <coughs> a decent game for a tier eight tank. Um, and yeah, so we're looking, like I say, just looking for enemy team. Our friendly team are going first, they're going to take the initial shots, which is great. Unfortunately, this T32 prototype pops out. I wasn't expecting that, uh, but he bounces a shot. Like I say, this is where the armor comes now. We know they're there. We're going to try and side scrape a little bit and bait some shots, which is what has happened. And we managed to take out the 32. But then the, um, uh, the, the, the E2 from earlier, which I was, you know, concerned about the one which is on low health managed to pop in and put us onto a one shot but he then gets taken out early <clears throat> after that and now we're on this long reload at this point i'm expecting our t77 in front of us is on full hit points at the moment just to push in eat the shot and just take out this tank really quickly uh, but i'm guessing they you know potentially are on reload so i'm going to push up behind him using his uh, body as a bit of you know cover because like i said they're on full hit points they can't take those hit points to next game uh, but that tank gets taken out and there is only one tank now remaining i'm pretty confident we're going to win the game but you know i don't want to sit in the cap that's not what it's about i want to try and get another kill if i can get a little bit of damage um, and just hope they're up their healthy to you know i know i'm on 100 hit points but like so i do have some usable armor if i'm using that ridge line you know, there's a good chance i could try and bounce a, sh a few shots off my turret um, and just see, yeah, we've got 400 hit points left, so it's a two shot to us. <clears throat> It'd be nice to finish the game with a bit more damage. Uh, unfortunately, that first one gets absorbed. We get a second one in, we then bounce a shot and we take him off, finishing the game with just shy of 5,000 damage. 1,000 blocked um, and we get three kills. So that is it for replay at number one. Uh, we get the Ace Tanker, we get the High Calibre. Uh, get the Sparta medal and yeah, moving swiftly on. I will see you in a bit for the second replay. Okay, so thanks for staying with us. Here we are on replay number two. We are blessed with the good matchmaking again. It is a tier eight game, one fun police, uh, and we are platooned up with our buddy Swindle 321 in a T77 American Premium Heavy Tank. Now, uh, here on Arctic region, uh, we're going to push to sort of, what I like to say, probably the brawling heavy spot. Uh, we don't really want to go the other way and get shot by fun police. Um, not not going to be fun. And, and as because it is, this, this tank doesn't sell when you are top tier because you can utilise the armour a lot more. Um, and, you know, you may, although it can play against tier 10s because you do have that nice clip potential and you have decent penetration. Um, so you can have good games in tier 10 lobbies, um, it's just when you come top tier it comes into it well to its own um, to be honest with you. Now there's lots of tanks in front of us in this area, that's exactly what we want. We want the tanks, you know, we want the damage to be in front of us because it, although it's not slow this tank, it's not quick either. So we don't want to be chasing the damage around, we want hopefully just to be able to get in a position where we can get some damage off nice and early. Now we've got this Tiger 1. Uh, he's stopped here and you notice I'm just keep pushing here that's because I want to take that opportunity when the tanks uh, back off to get into a more aggressive position we take a, a gamble as well makes we pen those uh, shots on those dra dragon enemy light tank uh, because that you know it had an awkward angle for us and that was a great trade really we lost a few hit points coming in but we you know we took out two tanks we got 1300 damage for it and we gained the position we wanted so Really, that was just an idle situation. Now, well, if you're the only tank here and you've got lots of tanks on the ridge, you can actually pick up quite a lot of assistance for keeping these tanks spotted. So I'm trying to keep them lit if I can. Unfortunately, I do have you know other ta well, it's not unfortunate, but I have other tanks with us here, so it does mean we're going to pick up less assistance. Now we are going to take a few trades here in order to get dump our clip. Um, we're getting we're trying to get as many of these tomics we can. They are ammo racked. We dump our clip, we do end up taking a few shots, leaving us on 600 hit points. But I'm pretty happy with that trade. Um, like I say, you can't take the hit points with you to the next game. I've just got, got 3,000 damage out of it for the, for the trade of the hit points. So really, I've, you know, I feel like that's worth it. 
um, and we managed to also pick up 800 assistance. So that's been a decent start to the game. Now we're on reload. You know, we I have covering tanks as well, so yeah, we are winning this situation. Like I don't have to worry about getting capped out on the base because it's team destruction, and we're just going to you know push in, swarm these tanks now in front of us, and win this side nice and quickly. Um, and yes, yeah, so we we mopped up that really well. Good start to the game. I'm a little bit concerned that the fun police is going to hit us here because. Well, let's face it, I am you know, a fairly easy shot if they are focusing here. They probably will be. But I've got this T-77 in front of us here on reload. So I'm going to try and take an opportunity while they're backing off to get my shots in. Uh, I do get free in and I narrowly invade the fun police. Uh, which could have ended my game. Uh, which wouldn't have been fun. But it doesn't go that way. It works out okay. We get 3,600 damage out of it. Uh, we're trying to get over and get safe. Uh, unfortunately, this medium tank front kind of stops. I guess he's looking for a shot. I wasn't expecting that. Um, sorry, but I didn't really want to get stuck in the open there. Now, this is what you need to do when you're in a heavy tank like this. We see all our tanks are pushing into like the, the two tanks on the, behind us. I'm going to try and get a head start on the enemy team and, and react to where the rest of the damage is. I can see the majority of the damage is near our base now. And because we're not the quickest, so I said we're not slow, you know, we can get to 40 kilometers an hour. Um, but we want to try and get ahead of our uh, our team to get to that damage first. Because it's got a lot of mediums there, they're going to be quicker than us. Um, and while they're distracted, sort of killing that one or two tanks, we're going to head over to where we know there is hit points available to us. We've got... Uh, I know there's a TD and I think a couple of heavies over there, so we can get there first and just get one more clip in. That's going to put us cl close, you know, if we pen every shot, it's going to put us close to the 5,000 uh, damage mark and we'll end up with a, you know, with a decent gain uh, for Arctic region. Um, so, yeah, we're pushing over, we're having a look. Now, this T-77, I'm thinking I'm going to be able to get my, my damage into this T-77, but they're kind of on a mission of self-destruct here. Um, I'm not entirely sure, they're, they're kind of crossing right into the open where we got, you can see we've got a big gun line uh, and yeah, it's it's not, yeah, he's just throwing his tank away, I think he was trying to jump off the cliff, I'm not sure what they were doing um, and unfortunately we don't get any damage out of that, uh, but there is only two tanks uh, remaining, they're both in the, the, the same location down here on the right um, and because we left nice and early we do have a good opportunity to get our clip into this uh, TD um, and we can actually potentially clip them out um, if we pen every single shot um, which will end the game quite nicely and we can eat sort of two shots off of it as well so we can sit there, let him shoot and dump our clip. Um, he's, paying, no, he's turning, now this shot here, that was silly, I shouldn't have took that shot, I should have waited and shot the Capola because now I can't clip it out uh, and it was kind of unnecessary really. Uh, he's not penning me so I'm just going to sit there and dump my clip uh, and that pretty much will bring the end to the game for that. And I put on 4,800 damage, but I could have had 5,000 if I just took a little bit of time uh, aiming one extra shot into the cupola. But hey, it is what it is. A uh, quick video for you this time, just with two replays. But I thought, you know, I'll get them out there as I had them. We finish it with two kills. Yeah, basically 5,000 damage. We get the ace tanker. We get the high calibre. Uh, we get Swindle there in second. That's a decent game. And yeah, so... Thank you so much as always for watching and happy tanking. Enemy in sight.